Hi everybody and welcome back to Aquabotics. I'm here today to speak to you about the newest release out of our factory, which is the Hydroview Sport. The Hydroview Sport is a remote controlled underwater vehicle and you control the vehicle right through your iPad. So you send all of the instructions to the vehicle about where you want it to go simply by tilting the iPad in whatever direction you want the vehicle to steer under the water. Now this vehicle is a ton of fun. You can use it to entertain yourself while you're on board or entertain your kids. But it's also a really practical tool to go and check your anchor setting, if you want to check out underwater construction. There's a variety of things that you need to be able to see under the water. And the Hydroview can go and see it for you while you stay up at top side, staying nice and dry and comfortable. You can even drive it with a cup of coffee in your hand. I wanted to walk you today through a few of the features about the Hydroview. First and most important is this video camera, which is set right here in the front of the dome. This is an HD video camera, and this is where you receive the live video from the vehicle. Whatever the vehicle is seeing underneath the water is sent straight up to you in your iPad, so you can see exactly what the vehicle is seeing underneath the water. You can watch the live feed, you can take a snapshot, or you could even record a video that you could share with colleagues or friends or family later on. Also set in the dome here is 10 LED lights, and you can run the vehicle with these lights turned off like I have here, or you could turn the lights on if you need extra lighting in whatever situation you are in under the water. On the left, right, and rear here, you're going to see three motors and propellers. These are high tension motors which are used for sending the vehicle forwards and backwards, left and right, here in the front. And in the rear, your rear motor prop controls the pitch of the vehicle, so tilting the vehicle up or down depending on what direction you want to go in the water. It comes standard with 75 feet of cable. We do do optional lengths up to 200 feet. The vehicle has a depth rating of 150 foot deep, which is great because you're able to go down there and really far and see a lot of the different things that you'll need to be able to see. Going up the cable length all the way here to this little box, this is called the top side box. And the top side box is where you connect the vehicle. It's also where you connect your power charger so you can charge the vehicle back up. The vehicle runs for about two to three hours on the batteries which are built right into the vehicle itself. And then you just charge it overnight so you can use it the next day. What this box does is it creates its own Wi-Fi signal. So when you're out on the water, you don't have to be anywhere near the vehicle or the top side box to be able to control it. You're completely wireless to this box. The last piece of the package is this nice waterproof carrying case which is able to hold the vehicle as well as all the components. So you can take it out on your boat and you have everything that you would need right there in one package. I'd like to take the time to show you what you would do when you get down to the water to just get this ready to go. So you're going to take all of the pieces out of the waterproof carrying case. You would screw in your cable connector here right into the top side box and then flip on the power switch which I've already done and you'll see this red light come on. Within 60 seconds the vehicle will begin to blink like it's doing here which means the Hydroview is trying to tell me I'm ready to go, put me in the water. Once you see the blinking you turn your application on and you'll see right here we're getting our live video of our test pool. That means we're ready to go put it in. So all you have to do is take her, get her right in the water, and turn the throttle on. And you're ready to explore. So I'll just do a nice little spin for you here. So now that I've had a chance to walk you through the vehicle, as well as all of the pieces of the package, I'd like to take the opportunity to show you the application. The application is going to be the controlling feature that's going to drive the vehicle through the water as you hold your iPad. So the first and most important control is the joystick control. As soon as you press your finger on the screen, you'll see a joystick appears, and that allows you to steer the vehicle either left or right, or you can also tilt the vehicle up or down depending on where you need to drive in the water. Now, if you'd rather use motion control instead of the joystick control, all you need to do is go into the settings menu, and you'll see here you have the option to turn motion control on or off. 
And if you turn motion control on, you drive the vehicle using the gyroscope and the iPad, which means all you need to do is tilt the iPad in whatever direction you like the vehicle to drive, and it'll steer the vehicle in that direction. Also in the settings menu, you see that you have the option to change the video resolution of the video feed, as well as the focus of the camera. So you can either use the automatic focus, or you can turn the manual focus on, which allows you to focus the camera on something close to you or far away. The last feature here is the dome lights feature. This allows you to control the LED lighting of the vehicle. You can turn the lighting up or down depending on the situation. On the left hand menu bar you'll also see we have a help menu and this help menu brings up the user manual of the HydroView. That way if you have any questions while you're out on the water using your vehicle, you can refer to the manual to help you answer those questions. On the right hand side of the application, you'll see that we have two controlling bars here. The first is the bottom bar, and this controls the thrust of the vehicle. You can go one thirds, two thirds, or full power forward, which would bring you to five knots forward. You can also go reverse, which would bring you one knot in reverse. Above that, you see that you have the photography features here. So you can click the camera button to take an image of what you're seeing under the water, or you could push the movie button, which would allow you to record the video that you're seeing underneath the water. The last button at the top is the light bulb button, and this allows you to control the LED lighting in the vehicle.